to speak with you both. My name Hi, is everybody. Bernardo Zaramski, and my outlet is the Invention of Dreams. And uh, my question is for Kiki. Uh, Kiki, I'm, I'm curious what it's like for you and what perspective you, you can provide on this industry that you've been a part of since the early 90s and what it's like to see it evolve from where it was then to this sort of place at the center of the mainstream pop culture with giant, yeah. huge budget TV shows like this one coming out. Yeah, I, I I feel like I could talk about that for hours because I, I I'm so proud of of where our industry has come and how far and and more importantly I'm so proud of the fact that um, I would say Hollywood is finally realizing maybe ten years later than it should just sort of the depth and 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 density and and richness of these worlds that um, that games create, right? And I think there's such an interesting and unique level of engagement that gamers have with these IPs and these worlds and these characters, you know, and, and something thankfully like Halo where we have, um, we have a whole universe built in and around the games. Um, I think that's something that's been a long time coming. I think the medium is a storytelling medium, even though very different from television or from film. Um, is uh, is really unique, and I think, you know, recognizing that these worlds and games get built the way they do because game developers are storytellers and world builders, and then taking that into this side of the business, which which is 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 so amazing to be part of, and and lets us do things that we then can't in the games, right? Being able to tell this very, very. Uh, deep character story with the Master Chief and with John is achievable because we have nine hours and we have this medium and we have, you know, writers and, and showrunners like Steve who can who can really bring it to life. Hey, Pablo. Thank you for taking the time today. Uh, my question is about your relationship with Bokeem as, mm. uh, as a performer, because I yep. think one of the things I most appreciated about the first couple of episodes are your scenes together mm -hmm. and the way you're able to uh, you know, bring out this long lived in friendship, but a, a complex friendship. So I'd be yeah. curious to hear you speak to your relationship with him as a performer and how you built that out. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, Bokeem is um, an amazing actor, uh, a person who has uh, a real sense of history and gravitas uh, from the moment that you meet him. You know, you f you feel uh, a lot of what he's been through and what he's lived. And I think that kind of uh, life experience is invaluable uh, for screen performance. So, uh, and you know, the character he plays, Soren, is is just a, a really rich and and vibrant character. Uh, he's got a lot of interesting history um, from having you know left the the Spartan program at an early age after his augmentation has gone wrong, um, and now he's this intergalactic space pirate who lives out in the rubble and and survives off of capturing uh, UNSC ships and stealing their bounty. Um, and he's got a family, uh, which for John, you know, interacting with him after all these years apart uh, when he goes to the rubble because it's the only place that he has left to go. Um, that feels particularly interesting and, and off-putting for John that, that uh, Spartans could have children. I think he never even entertained the idea that family was something that was possible. And and, uh, you know, so Soren really awakens John to the possibilities uh, of a human life in general, that there are more possibilities than he had imagined. Uh, and, and in part, not solely, but also uh, in concert with John having this experience by touching this artifact. Um, and then later, he's going to make a decision to do something that's going to affect uh, how he deals and processes emotions. And all of those things together are going to start the chain reaction of John discovering more and more about who he is as a human being outside of being a soldier. Uh, my question is also for Jen. Uh, Jen, I was curious about your um, intentionality in your performance. If you approach voice acting in a TV show knowing that it's going to be for Pablo or other other characters to react to as opposed to a gaming universe where it's more focused on a player's response to the to the performance that you're giving. 
You know, I'm always thinking in anything I do, whether it's TV or, or video games or whether it's stage work or I'm selling you a taco, um, it's I'm always, <laughs> maybe not selling yes. the taco, but you know, we all love tacos. Uh, I'm always thinking about, as an actor, I'm always thinking about objective. I'm not, I'm generally not thinking about, um, trying not to think about uh, how it's coming across or how I am, I, I'm more thinking about how I can affect the person to get what I want, right? So how can I affect Pablo to get what I want from him? How can I um, affect Quan to get what I want from her? Not that we have any scenes together, sadly, but that's what I'm thinking about. Um, what is my objective? What am I going after? And what is getting in my way? And what would it look like if I got everything I wanted? Those are the things I'm thinking about, as opposed to, um, you know, that's that's always the way I'm thinking about it. As a, you know, so I'm thinking about that when I'm trying to speak to, uh, in the video game, when I'm speaking to you as the player. I'm thinking about that when I'm speaking to my fellow actors on stage, when I'm um, on screen. It's it's very, a similar process for me. Thank you. Yeah. Slightly different technically, but the same, you know, same thing. You. Humanity's best weapon. Master Chief, huh? The Master Chief was enhanced and trained for one purpose. To win this war. He and the other Spartans are our only effective weapons against the Covenant. He is lethal, upgradable, and most importantly, controllable. Covenant forces appear to be excavating some kind of object. When I touched the object, I felt something. I felt different. What they did to us makes you numb. And you just decided to help me. Why would a Spartan do that? What does one do with a superhuman you're not sure you can trust? Hello, Master Chief. I'm Cortana. Master Chief recovered something. Sacred ring. Halo. Humans surrender to the Covenant. Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. Find the Halo. Win the war.